Welcome to Vespers for the Advent Season. My name is Becky Burrows, and today is the sixth day of Advent, Friday, December 2nd. As we begin our time of reflection and devotion, let's take a moment to center ourselves. Make sure other distractions are quieted for the next few minutes. If possible, bring your body to complete rest. As you become aware of the stillness around you, focus on your breathing as we inhale and exhale slowly together. Breathe in, exhale. Breathe in, exhale. Breathe in, exhale. As we continue, in prayer together, speak the words of this responsive prayer. God of love, Christ of hope, Spirit of peace, as it was from the beginning, Amen. For the next few moments, let's dwell in God's Word. Our reading today comes from the 130th Psalm. I will read the passage through three times, each time with a different way for you to experience the Scripture. Hear the Word of God. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand? But there is forgiveness with you, so that you may be revered. I wait for the Lord. My soul waits, and in His word I hope. My soul waits for the Lord, more than those who watch for the morning. More than those who watch for the morning. O oh, Israel, hope in the Lord, for with the Lord there is steadfast love, and with him is great power to redeem. It is he who will redeem Israel from all its iniquities. As we read through the second time, take notice of what word or phrase stands out to you and hold on to it. If you would like to write down your reflections or tell someone else your findings, feel free to pause the video after this second reading. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand? But there is forgiveness with you, so that you may be revered. I wait for the Lord. My soul waits, and in His word I hope. My soul waits for the Lord, more than those who watch for the morning. More than those who watch for the morning. O Israel, hope in the Lord. For with the Lord there is steadfast love, and with Him is great power to redeem. It is He who will redeem Israel from all its iniquities. If a word or phrase caught your attention, what, if anything, do you sense God saying to you about the hope that Advent brings? Listen for that invitation during this final reading. If you would like to write your reflections down or tell someone else your findings, feel free to pause the video after this third reading. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand? But there is forgiveness with you, so that you may be revered. I wait for the Lord. My soul waits, and in His word I hope. My soul waits for the Lord more than those who watch for the morning. More than those who watch for the morning. 
O Israel, hope in the Lord, for with the Lord there is steadfast love, and with him is great power to redeem. It is he who will redeem Israel from all its iniquities. As we conclude this time of reading together, let me offer this question as a challenge to be aware of as you go about your Advent season. In what way do you find yourself waiting on the Lord? Where can you find hope in the waiting? Thank you. Thank you for spending this time with us today. And as you continue this week, may the hope of the Advent resound in every part of your life. If you will, speak these words with me as we conclude. Lord of hosts, who breathed the words of creation and spoke the word of the incarnation, Ignite our imaginations. Fill us with awe and wonder. Prepare the way for the Messiah within and without. For unto us a child is born. Unto us, Emmanuel is given. Bring us hope, love, joy, and peace as we receive once again your greatest gift to the world. Amen and amen. Join us every day of Advent for a time of reflection and devotion. May God go with you through this season of hope. Blessings, dearly beloved.